working hard every day Almost there, don't take a break Nine to five, not for me Every day I chase my dreams Gotta get back, do it all again I just wanna see my friends Back when they would let me in Time goes by and it's almost gone If I could prove myself I'll be number one I'm gonna lap you I'll see you in the past Yeah, I save my time, keep it for myself We could stop every clock on every shelf So many people chasing a dream that doesn't last Hi, I'm Nick. For years, I've spent every waking minute trying to achieve my dream of time travel. And no matter how much the world doubted me, or how many relationships I've had to sacrifice, it would all be worth it when I proved everyone wrong. Oh, come on, come on. Restarting system components. Welcome, Nick. Load all time data to cache memory. Because let's face it, nothing meaningful don't crash. ever came easy. Loading data. Loading! It's official! Tonight's the night. <laughs> Three hours, six minutes remaining. One giant leap for mankind. Firm energy required to launch. 100... 75 pounds? Transferring 175 pounds requires 5,512 watts discontinuously. Perfect. 220 volts on a 50 amp breaker makes 11,000 watts. <laughs> Oh, God. Oh. oh, okay. Confirm continuous voltage required to maintain a connection to the present. 100% connection requires 4,000 continuous watts. So with 11,000 watts, what can my minimum connection be? 17.1875% before connection loss. Boom! Second. Something's burning. I grabbed this. Oh, uh, thanks. Love what you're doing with the place. Shouldn't you be, like, like working, or? Nick, it's Sunday. Is it? Oops. Big surprise. You gonna eat this? Yes, I am. This is last month's mortgage. You'll lose the house and our renovations. Then why don't you take them with you? And this is from this month. No, this is from this month. Yeah. Nick! Stop, come on, and, and, and you shouldn't even have a key. She made hundreds. Good. I've been meaning to change the lock. Sure you are. Just come on. It's laminate. It's fine. It's official. You've been served. 20 days to file a response to the court. Try not to forget this time. Official. But I'm, uh...
it's ready. <laughs> the time machine. It's loading the memory right now. I, I, I've triple checked everything. It, it's, I'm literally hours away. <laughs> or years. I want, I want you to try something. Okay, Th think of your happiest memory or any memory at all. Go ahead. Okay, I bet in all of your confidence, what you actually remember is, is nothing more than a scattered mess of thoughts and a total of like 30 seconds of images, <laughs> or even less. So much is lost as time moves on. I mean, I couldn't even tell you what I had for dinner two weeks ago. I could take a guess. And, 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 and photos. They can't give you sounds or, or smells or, or anything tangible. Rachel, I bet you can't even remember the first time you met Ben. I remember that very well. So imagine being able to go back to relive it. You could dazzle him with Star Wars facts. Oh, well, speaking of my Han Solo. <laughs> and hey, Ben. Jess, the day you quit your job? Oh, to give Dr. Mudge a piece of your mind again? Or even just having a simple conversation with your dad? Just stop! Nick? Well, I'm sorry, I, I guess that... Wake up! When are you gonna stop putting this in front of everyone else? Did you even look through this like I asked? That box isn't gonna change the world. It's so stupid. What do you want from me? I don't know. From Rachel. I just wanted this to mean something to you. For once. Hardly ticking. Junk. It's in the past, remember? Let it go. Fine. You're right. Oh, don't start. You know what? I'll do it. Sis, come on. I'm sorry, but you were still wearing his wedding ring. Jess. I know you saw that. You probably forgot it was there. Like you forgot you were there. Come on. He'd make a great father. I still feel- You still feel like what? He's the same guy he used to be? I really wish things could have worked out, but don't act like he cares all of a sudden. You're just stuck in the past, you know? You better have a brownie mix. <laughs> Double chocolate chunk. Yes, sis. Shelly? Hello. Nick, why don't you answer? Is it life or death? It's Corey.
What's wrong? He, he's been... I'm not okay. Talk to me. What'd he do? He's cheating. What? <laughs> he always has been. I screwed up. What happened? I, I told him I looked at his phone and... <laughs> he... Oh, no, Shelly. Is he around? No. No, he's, he's out trucking now. Okay, you need to go to mom and dad's and stay there. Okay. I can be there tomorrow, okay? Shelly? Junk, junk, junk. something good. She just had to have quotes. <laughs> you really wore that tie today. Charlene made me this. This better be worth it. You can have back the damn key! Nicholas James Cotter? I'm Melissa Davis. This is Jeff Brown and Dr. Thomas Kent. We are with the National Laboratories of the United States Department of Energy. If you have a phone or any other audio or video recording device, please hand it over. What is this? Arms up. Jeff here convinced HQ to give you a shot. So here we are. They're desperate. I like the crown molding. We've heard about your theories and read the papers you submitted to the Institute. That's impressive stuff. Jeff, that's enough. Wait. All set. We have classified information relating to your work and are taking a fair risk involving you. Take us to a room with the least amount of cracks and crevices so we can talk. Um, I, I guess we could go. Oh, for Pete's sake, Jeff, and a bathroom, please. They wouldn't stop. Okay, um, bathroom's there. Thank you. Otherwise, follow me. I'm clear. Clear. Moving forward. Mic test. One, two, three. One, two, three. Good. This is Melissa Davis, Jeff Brown, and Dr. Thomas Kent in a field meeting with uncleared civilian Nick Cotter on September 15th, 2019 at 405 Atwater Court, Shelby Township, Michigan. 1930 Eastern Real Time, second floor, southeast guest bedroom. We'll get right to it, Nick. We've read your papers, and we have come to make you an offer on your time machine. To buy it? We'll provide yearly increasing installments. That is the first. Of course, if this machine is a hoax or another hyped up pipe dream, none of this matters. I, I can prove it works, but not if you're gonna lock it away in a warehouse somewhere and scrub the world of its existence. <laughs> Look, 
We aren't here to entertain conspiracy theories. The FBI's counterterrorism division has been asking for this for years, and quite frankly... I haven't delivered. But you can't change the past with my machine. Nothing ripples forward. Yes, we know that. We've read your papers. But certainly you've considered the possibilities. Reviewing the day after an attack on U.S. soil, seeking names, motives, replaying events to examine crime scenes live as they happen. It'll be revolutionary. Come on, Nick. But why is this all so sudden? Uh, <laughs> what do you know about the Red Fox? Like the animal, or? <laughs> Look, in June it was rumored that the Russian state had hired an American physicist, now known as the Red Fox, who allegedly just made the first round trip back in time. CIA has shared with us a few names, but no identity confirmations yet. Either way, if these rumors are true, Russia is poised to be the first to capitalize on time travel, thanks to an American traitor. <laughs> okay, yep. Working with Putin, I suspect, the Red Fox. Look. Even if you're not joking, it's not about money. You can't just buy me out of my passion. Okay. Option B. We give you a career in the national laboratories. Think you'll be on the forefront of the time race as director of your own branch in the Department of Energy. Recognized as the creator of time travel directing its development for the modern age. Commercial use comes later, not to mention proving that the United States is number one in the world again. Someone's been reading my diary. <laughs> Do you have a wife, kids? Yeah, are you a family man? Why? We hardly have time for a family chat, but this is a big decision, which would certainly affect them. You'd leave your job, relocate, and start a new chapter in life. No, uh, no wife, no kids. So, do we have a deal? Hell yeah, you two, yes! <laughs> All right, now prove it works. Right now? Would you rather we share a vodka and wait for the Russians? <laughs> That's one way to stop time. Keep walking. Uh, you, you, you don't need to look for recording devices. Trust me. Don't tell HQ. Thank you. Okay. Not quite what I was picturing. <laughs> I'll say. Three years developing the network, seven years of recording time data, and hundreds of tests. Stuffed animals, fruit, and a lucky handful of gerbils. <laughs> All right, explain away, and keep it short, but thorough. Okay, sorry. Okay, most theories about time travel in my research are wrong. There are no parallel timelines, loops, or any of that stuff. Right. There's just one timeline in history, and all we can do is go back and observe it. So my machine works like a Wi-Fi router. As long as it maintains a connection to the present, I'm free to travel to any time that my network has been running. Uh, and that's what, seven years? Very good. So there's no traveling to the future? Right. Only along the timeline that's been recorded in here. And returning home is just reversing the transfer, requiring an equal amount of mass that was first sent. So is this like a live viewing? Like a living museum? 
based on my research? Yes, it's basically a DVR time period that I can interact with before returning. But you said you can't make changes. Wouldn't being there already start to change things, let alone interacting with it? <laughs> interacting is one thing, but expecting to ripple forward changes is, is totally different. From what I understand, interacting is like, like adding interference to the connection to the present. And small interferences should be okay, since my machine can complete round trips even at a lower connection strength. So can you go back and save a life? I wish. But again, the timeline can't change. It, it's already been recorded. We're here right now. There's no such thing as rippling forward. And what if you tried? Look. Making large changes to the past will only result in the machine losing its connection to the present. Which means? I don't know. Either stuck in the past or possibly disappear in time when the connection breaks. Which is why I can't risk taking passengers yet. Status. Loading complete. Standby mode, 100% fully charged. Incredible. You did all the developing yourself? Yep. Well, uh, a colleague helped some, but she uh, moved on years ago. It requires 4,000 continuous watts on a full connection. And it, what, needs twice as much power on a 50% connection? Exactly, 8,000 watts, and I only have 11,000 to spare, so a minimum connection would be 17% 17 before, before the, the breaker, breaker kicks. And that's when... If that's to maintain connection, how much is needed just to launch? Well, it depends on the mass. For someone my size, we're talking 5,000 watts. So both of you would be 10 to 11,000? Both of who? You two. You didn't think we were just going to take your word for it, did you? This has never been done before. I, I haven't even tested it myself yet. Right. No, I, 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 I can't be liable. This is uncharted territory. Nick. Do you trust your machine, the, the physics behind it? I mean, yeah, but it, it's not the, the numbers that I'm worried about. The only way to get back home is to change as little as possible. And just you being there will immediately make some amount of interference. And the bigger the interference, the bigger the risk. Well, then we'll stay low key, observe the environment and return. Here's the thing, I'm willing to throw away everything for this. And I mean everything. Then we're no different at all. It's time. Ah, the bulletproof glass. Yep, police auction. <laughs> Lowers the path of resistance to ground, basically ungrounding ourselves. Uh, because of the high dielectric constant? Yes! Yeah. Much less conductivity than, say, wood or air. She requires a heck of a charge to be built up. Status. Charging complete. Stage two. Transferring energy. Hop up. September 15th, 2019. 405 Atwater Court, Shelby Township, Michigan. Time travel launch test using Nicholas James Cotter's time travel prototype, launching our own Dr. Thomas Kent. Nick, how far back did you say it can go? Up to seven years. Wow. 2012. Can we do that? You got it. <laughs> and our destination. Minimum, maximum, or set custom date? Maximum. Maximum set. 66,698.2 hours. Energy transfer complete. Stage three, ready to launch. Stand by for clapping. Did that just say clapping? Well, I worked in a clapper function, you know. Clap on, clap off. <laughs> <laughs> Again, you, uh, you 
You don't have to do this. Oh, I've been chasing this dream my whole life. Rolling. Are we ready? <sighs> okay. Okay. Close your eyes. Why? It just seems like the right thing to do. <laughs> Let's back up a little. Is that normal? Ah, oh, crap, the breaker blew. Status. Low resource mode enabled. Charging at one percent. We gotta recharge. Oh, son of a Newton, how long? We're talking three to four hours. Call HQ Davis, we need more time. Is it my weight? Davis, it's safe. Brown, come on out. Wait, give me that, give me that. Hey. No surface. This clock has been on since... What the... Don't tell me you fudged a number. I, I don't... Perfect timing. Who's that? Seriously, not funny, Ross. Full resource mode restored. Stage one, charging 2%. I'll call the cops! Breaker! Ah. The hell? Connection. All right, I'm going to go for What's wrong? <laughs> Speak! Did it! We time traveled! We'll be back up in a sec. Connection, 23%, critically low. We gotta hide you. Grab on. Okay. Oh, hold on. Take off your clothes. Oh, God, did you bathe in cologne? What are you doing? What does it look like? You gotta play you. I can't possibly pull that off. Maybe we Will can you back shut up. up and hurry? God. Connection, 22%, critically low. Come on, come on. I'm going, I'm going. Here. They have power. Hurry! What? It's a little snug. Uh huh. I'm eating your cherry tart. Go reset the damn breaker. Uh, fine. Give me that. Go to town. Connection. Twenty percent. Critically low. Woo! There we go. I'll be right up. Connection. 100%. I feel violated. Yeah, let me get a pick. I can't believe this is happening. I cannot believe this is happening. There, proof. <laughs> now, when do we return? Uh, the three to four hours. Oh, so be it. 
I'll stay with him. You go on up and take everything in. I'm sorry you're stuck down here. No, no. No time for emotions. Enjoy the evening with your date. That nagging woman is my ex-wife. Well, why would she be here? Seven years is a long time ago. <laughs> May God be on your side. Yeah, uh, thanks. Oh, wait, did you leave that candle downstairs? Hey! Incredible. <laughs> hey! All the cabinets. <laughs> Someone's being real weird. It worked. It worked. I guess I'm eating all the dessert. Good, I'm glad. <laughs> Can you blame me? What are you doing? Nick? <laughs> February 2012. What does ISIS mean to you? I don't know. Donald Trump for president. <laughs> uh, frozen. Uh, let it go. <laughs> what? The Flint water crisis. A crisis on water? <laughs> You're missing some good tart, is all I'm saying. Uh, uh, don't resist. There you go. <laughs> My favorite. <laughs> I know. Wait, but seriously, is that is that candle still burning down there? Huh? Come on. You become more oblivious every day. Uh, Stop! Nothing's down there! <laughs> what? Uh, you relax. <laughs> Let me check first, okay? Just be ready to call 911 if we go up in flames. <laughs> What do you mean, flames? Kidding! <laughs> One sec. It's incredible, it worked! Yeah, we've established that. But is it 2012? Yes, February. And how about the ex? Uh, uh, naggy, but not I want to kill your dreams, oh, No, no, I mean, is she on to you? <laughs> no. And what about the time machine connection? Uh, let me check. Yeah. Status. Connection, 100%. Charging, 7%. Could you go any slower? I'm sorry. What's wrong? Please repeat the question. Connection, 75%. Uh, it's, 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 the, it's the time machine. It's, it's what's causing our power issues. Why are you worried about work tonight? I'm, I... Oh my God, are you wearing a ring? Connection, 60%. Okay, something's happening, uh, Nick. Uh, Why are you wearing that? I'm... Connection. Is that talking? I, I, it's I just work stuff and calculations you, and... <laughs> your work better not ruin our night, Nick. Uh, Bad time machine. It won't, I promise. Who's that? Uh, huh? Come on, I would have cleaned if I knew we had company coming. Hello? Okay, uh, you clear the table and take the presents upstairs and I'll... Get the guess. Ready? Break. Launch sequencing denied. Charging incomplete. Coming! What in Neil's bore were you thinking? Wearing your wedding ring? How oblivious are you? It's stuck. I need soap. Oh, wedlock. 
I said soup! Ah, uh, if you want my help, you need to tell me everything that happens tonight. Is this, is this a party? I, I don't remember any of this. It was seven years ago. Use your context clues. Presents, guests, a candlelit dinner. Was it an early Valentine's Day? No, no, but why would there be guests? Yeah, he's right on his way up. I, I, I don't know, but I gotta go. Connection, okay. 85 Wait, 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 wait! The light. Make it quick. Yeah, the light, the machine, you. Every time you deviate from the past, the machine increases in power consumption, dimming, dimming the, the light. Lights. Yes, that's your compass. If the house is losing power, then you've made a wrong turn. Got it. And, and, and no matter what, we can't get lower than 17%. 17%? Yes, no, go get them. Okay. I mean, it looks all right, but the problem is the molding is a half inch off on this side. Oh, sorry. Oh. Hey, the man of the hour, what's up, buddy? How about a hug? Corey, stop. Come on. Let me, uh, let me wash my hands first. Okay, I'll go in the hood, buddy. I'll go in the hood. Hey, Nick. Looking good, sis. <laughs> Entire party closed. Oh. 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 Nick! Holy cow, Benji! Oh. Courtney Juice! Oh, sorry we're late. Pure Michigan weather. Uh, what, what you had in there, Nick? <laughs> Something special? Uh, uh, you still owe me 20 um, bucks. One minute! <laughs> Dude. What? What? Idiot. What? <sighs> hey, you guys see which way Nick went? Just keep the status quo. What the hell is all this? Uh, go clear the table. I'm getting there. Party's here. Dude, I got. Jeez, hey, you gained some weight, buddy? You okay? Uh, I already cracked uh, uh, Oh shit, was that part of the? Dude, I don't know what just happened. Stop. Uh, what? Anybody want one? I'll take one. You already got one. Not much to her. What'd you see, a ghost? Are you okay? Go inside. Okay. I, I didn't clear the table yet. Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ. Nick? Um, <laughs> oh, if it isn't Anne Marie. Are you okay? Yeah, yeah, I just. Needed a break. <laughs> well, talk about pressure. All while inventing time travel. It's not easy. Well, if we don't challenge ourselves, then who will? Am I right or am I right? How's your research coming? Renewable energy. It's good. But not good enough for you, right? <laughs> Still, uh... I think we'll change the world by 30. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, okay. <laughs> I'm serious. We've got that drive, you know? That's what makes dreams possible. I guess that's true. Hey, you didn't graduate top of our class to live a normal, boring life, worrying about things like pets and frozen pizza. <laughs> You're gonna change millions of lives one day. So will I. Someday. But uh, I think your house may have lost some power or something. What's that? Well, the lights, they're, they're pretty dim. Uh, well, they need me inside. <laughs> of course. Hey, later I want to see that time machine I've heard about. Uh, it's mostly wires and theories. <sighs> For a fellow physicist. Just make sure I'm there to walk you through it, okay? Hey, go straight to the center. What's up, Nick? Uh, 
Agreed. Rachel. <laughs> All right, pretty simple, people. If you've done it, sit down. If not, stay standing. Capiche? Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right, never have I ever... Broke someone's heart. Yeah. <laughs> oh, what? Yeah. Nick? Never? Oh, come on. We know that smile broke a few hearts in high school. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. <laughs> uh -huh. <laughs> okay. Never have I ever... Pre-ordered movie tickets for Star Wars Phantom Menace. Hey, screw you. It's gonna be in 3D. <laughs> Will the glasses hide the plot holes? <laughs> hey, just wait until he makes an episode seven. Yeah, okay. Three on, dude. All right, all right. Uh, never have I ever cheated on someone. I cheated with a face full of kisses from the dog at the office this week. I gotta get stuff clean up, okay? Keep playing, you're fine. Aye, aye, aye. Never have I ever blasted my ass trumpet <laughs> on an old lady. What? The hell? I'm out. Twice. <laughs> I'm all done. Yeah, yeah, I'm out too. No, that's too. Dude, Shelly, you're the winner. What? <laughs> hey, I think you'll be proud of me. We took your advice. I moved in with Corey. You what? What's wrong? Come here, come here, come here, come here, come here, come here, come here. Hey, Nick. Can I talk to you in uh, private? Yeah, one minute. I, I know this is a big step, but this is what I want, to settle down and, and start a family with the house eventually and, and kids and then what? With Corey? You just said he was great with me. I... What? No, no, no. What are you saying? Sh Shelly, you, you gotta move out. I... Just moved in with you. Yeah, what, that's where... different. I'm not an asshole to her. I don't think. And he is with me? Is Shelly, I am serious. Has he hurt you? No. You sure? <laughs> it's just been hard since you left campus, okay? Oh, oh! Somebody get you to a room! <sighs> Damn, Nikki, you got some real mood lighting here. That's pretty handy. We're fine. Really? Don't get any ideas. Stop. Corbear. Schmoopy. Looks like you need some liquid courage there, Nikki boy. Right. Excuse me. Atta boy, get crumb. So now what's up? Even if you couldn't stop something from happening, it's about trying, right? She making you put the toilet seat down? Huh? I'm just saying, having Jess move in with you. It's ballsy, man. <laughs> it's not that. Though she needed to renovate the kitchen. <laughs> so it begins. It's actually... Shelly, but you cannot say anything. Corey's abusive and Shelly's afraid to leave him. Maybe, but uh, how did... I mean, it doesn't take Einstein to figure out what type of guy he is. He's a jerk, peaked a long time ago. Can't find happiness in anyone or anything. You think? I'm sure he's cheated on her a ton of times. You really think that he's happy or she's happy? Are you happy? Listen, I'm not gonna invent a time machine or change the world. 
I mean, I was supposed to be fielding grounders for the Tigers. But sometimes dreaming, that's all it is. But you're happy, right? Hmm. Well, I got donuts today at the site, so there's that. You know what make me happy? You finish that time machine of yours, so I can go back to States and plow that catcher instead of breaking my wrist on his cleat. Well, I hate to say it, but none of my research supports changing the past. <sighs> if you can't cheat the sports bookies, what the hell good is a time machine? There's pros and cons. I just need to figure them out. Well, don't get so busy with that time warp shit that you forget to help Shelly, okay? She listens to you. Hey, Nick. Come on, please. Yeah, just uh, getting them warmed up in the bullpen. He's loose. Go get him, Tiger. Thanks, Russ. Okay. What the hell is going on? We had dinner, and then our friends show up randomly. All they say is that you invited them. Nick, nothing else. And then you start acting like it's not even our anniversary. Oh. I, I, I invited our friends over tonight because I, I, I thought we should make time for people we haven't seen in a while. Nick, our anniversary is about us. Yeah. I'm so sorry. Just wanna, I just wanna open our presents and then we can go back to them. Okay. That's okay. <laughs> to Nick. Dear Nick, another year, another opportunity. Day by day, hour by hour, I've felt our bond grow stronger with time. Who knows where this crazy life will take us, but I know I'll never stop appreciating the little moments we have together. Wrestling for the remote, burnt pancakes we force ourselves to eat, the night we cried when the vet told us about Max. Max. The way you held me and said he'd be a real <laughs> pimp in dog heaven. Every day we're together proves even more that we've made the right choices. Five years are only the beginning. I love you more than hot cocoa on a cold night. Yes. A present, too. The atomic clock. Yeah. <laughs> this way, if you're ever Lost in time, you'll know exactly the day, the month, and the year. We're gonna get downstairs. That's very thoughtful. <laughs> this is yours too. Jess, no, Jess, Jess, wait, wait. <sighs> oh. 
champagne? Ring. Oh my god. Holy shit. How could I forget? Nick? Uh... Are you okay? Uh... Yeah, yep. Um... I... I have such big plans for us. We're gonna be on stop. Um, stop? What? But she said no. Right? No, but this won't work. Oh, you know, I didn't mean to. It, it, it's just bad timing. Hmm. Okay, yeah, I'm sorry. You know, I just really want to support you and the work you're doing. I, I'll still show you the machine, but later, okay? Yeah, okay. Choked, didn't you? You knew? Don't play dumb, dumbass. Why didn't you tell me? Tell you what? Not to invite Anne Marie up to your bedroom? She, she has nothing to do with tonight. Then what was that? What was what? You sound so idiotic sometimes. What the hell are you talking about? That's what matters. I saw you talking to Anne Marie outside. So? So? Are you really gonna throw away everything with Jess for a cheap temptation? <laughs> Seriously, what are you thinking? I wasn't tempted! Then why is she waltzing down the stairs? Well, there's a girl outside any guy in this county would give his left nut for who's wishing her car wasn't blocked in right now. You're gonna throw away the best thing that ever happened to you. <sighs> I guess I choked. Damn right you did. And here she is supporting your silly dream on top of it. Why does that date ring a bell? I don't know. Does your anniversary ring a bell? No, no, it was it was February 2nd. Whatever, dude. Make things right with Jess, okay? Propose, we'll take some shots, then I'm hitting the road. I didn't drive all the way from Ubbly to miss out on the big moment. You can't. I can't what? Uh, no driving tonight. Dude, give me a bag. Hey, Rusty, you've drank too much. Dude, give no. me a bag. <laughs> I, you, we have a spare room. I ain't no I, bitch, okay? Jeez. No. Uh. I'm gonna tell you something, and you have to promise not to tell anyone ever. Okay. I'm from the future. Time traveling right now. Here we go. Russ, you crash your car on the way back to Ubley tonight. When the report came out February 2nd, 2012. You die from drunk driving. Come on, Russ. This is real. Dude. <laughs> screw, screw you, man. Cut no. the shit. Dude, I saved the newspaper. Propose, you big baby. Then I'm out of here, okay? Jeez. Russ, I'm, I'm serious. What the hell? I'm sorry. She was bawling. It's, it's not my fault. Nick, we've been keeping your secret for over an hour. What are you waiting for? If I could tell you, I would. I want nieces and nephews. Uh, not now! 
<laughs> Jess, can we talk? Excuse me. <laughs> what kind of man are you? Oh, sorry, I can wait. Uh, would you? I made dinner. You think I made cherry tart for fun? Uh, I, I, I. And then so our friends come over. And you're laughing and drinking beer and putting me off. Great surprise, Nick. Nag. Excuse me? At least I didn't push us into a house renovation we didn't need. That's for our future family. All right, right, our bright future. How long do you think my funding will last? Oh my do you really think it'll pay for quartz countertops? We pick those out together. This isn't about that, okay? Yeah, party's over. Oh All I want is to spend my life with you, not to be pushed aside for a dream. <sighs> that is way more than a dream, babe. No, Nick. That's all your life is. You don't have time for anyone. Or anything. And what the hell's up with the lights? I gotta go, okay? It's my machine. Ah. Of course. That's the Nick I know. Connection. 25%. Critically low. What's going on? I'm struggling, okay? With what? <laughs> Would you let your best friend die driving tonight? Or let your sister stay with an abusive, cheating asshole? Or propose to the woman that you know you'll divorce anyway? This is not real life. We're just observing what happened seven years ago. Oh, bullshit! You're not up there! You have no idea! All right, listen to me, Nick. Those are terrible things. But you did them before, so you can do them again. Saving them now means nothing. Let go of your emotion and be a physicist. We have to get home. <sighs> Status. Connection, 25%. Critically low. Charging, 74%. I saw you head down. Can I see it? Uh, yeah. Uh, real quick. Wow. Oh my god. The, this is amazing. The launch zone, the brain, the electrical load storage, the smart controller. Most of the bells and whistles are right inside this little box here. Wow. I mean, this is hogging all your energy. <laughs> It's all run via tablet? Uh, that's right. All touch and talk. The status. Connection, 35%. <gasps> Charging, 75%. Hey, what's wrong? Uh, nothing. It's... Go propose, Nick. Keep looking, just uh, stay out of the launch zone and don't touch or say anything to it. Yep, just observing. Yes, Anne-Marie, I meant observing. Anne-Marie? Oh, this can't be. Hey, man, we gotta catch our flight out, sorry. Courtney and Juice are probably waiting. Uh, have you seen Jess? She'll say yes. Just be confident. You mean a lot to her. And anyone can see she means the world to you. Thanks, man. Got this. Uh, have a safe flight back.
February 1st, 2012. The outer components of Nick Cotter's time machine. Oh. All run by some sort of prototype tablet. Maybe the flash mob. Out of the way. Russ, I, I, I was serious, man. I have to drive two hours. Russ. I work at 5 a.m. Hey, you're the one being the idiot. Ugh. Open your eyes, ah. man. Ah. Fine, I tried. Let's take a look inside. Hold on, Miss Vixen. Hands seconds. up. Critically low. Who are you? Go to the pictures. Delete them or I'll expose you to everyone. I don't know what you're talking about. Don't play dumb. Connection, 23%. Critically low. Again, all of them. Hurry up. Connection, 22%. What more do you want from me? Have you seen Corey? <laughs> yeah, sucking Shell's face. What? What, with who? photos of what your work to steal it Anne Marie <sighs> Anne Marie Vixen is one of the names on the CIA suspect list she's the red fox that was <laughs> no no she became my intern she no. How can you be so oblivious? She moved away from Michigan a few years ago. At least I made her delete most of them. What? Then you should have let her go. Ha <laughs> ha. And let the Russians... You interfered with the past. Oh my God. It was my fault. Yes. Well, well, no. I, I, I don't know, but we're alive. We're alive. Uh... Status. Connection. Lost. Charging. 90%. Still charging. Just stop it. Hey, I told you it was at your own risk. And if you hadn't forgotten why we came, we'd be about 10 minutes from takeoff. Hey, hey, where are you going? To find your liquor and to see something else besides this wood paneling. No, you, you can't.
Jess? Hey, hey jerk. jerk! So now you need Jess, but only when it's on your time. Will you grow up? Go home? Yeah, I'd like to go home. I would like to have my own life, but do you see me getting to set up my business? Lease property or set up any new classes? Is it the art studio thing? <laughs> I'm sorry, teaching pottery isn't lucrative. Excuse me? I said it's an unprofitable, stupid, waste of daylight <laughs> hobby. Unprofitable. I've been turning down investors because of you, Nick. Jesus, do you think the kitchen demoed itself? We laid out the entire design ourselves. We ran new lines and we hung up drywall and I even helped Dad fix the subfloor without you. While you were all distracted by your technological bullshit, I put my life and my career on hold because I actually care about people. Just selfish. Now go back in there and patch things up and pretend to listen, asshole. Resume connection. Connection lost. Well, what good are you then? I'm sorry, please repeat the question. Was this worth it? I'm sorry, please repeat the question. Mm. Jess? I'm sorry. Everyone's gone now. Russ isn't staying? No. And Shelly went home with Corey? Yeah. I really wish she would leave him. What, ruining our anniversary, Nick? All of this, everything. Ross? Everything I did, that, that I, I had to do, it, it was all wrong. Everyone makes mistakes, Nick. Now this whole thing has been a mistake. Look, you spoiled our night. But it's okay. I forgive you. Come here. could have done things right with them. With you. But I am tied down by that damn machine. Listen to yourself. Just because we've had a few dips here and there doesn't mean you throw away everything you've worked for. What if you unlock time travel next week or tomorrow? What if it's not tomorrow? What if it's years? Then we'll make the best of those years together.
And all it takes is telling Shelly how you feel. And Russ, well, I guess call in a drunk driving if you're really that worried. Sometimes I just miss how easy things were when we were young. <laughs> like this, I wish we could relive this night. You know, it'd be bittersweet. Mostly bitter. But a little sweet. Remember drinking hot chocolate under the stars? I love that. <laughs> okay, you can't tell me you don't regret that face. Oh, God. <laughs> it's like you're pooping or something. <laughs> What? It's an instant mix somewhere in this construction zone. Oh. Careful. It's freezing out here. We had his cappuccino, babe. <laughs> I was gonna say, it's like, yeah. I kinda like it. If you could, if you could go back in time, to any time in the past with your time machine, when would it be? What do you ask? I'm just curious. I would go back to a time when it was just about us. When things were fun. I think we're living it right now. <laughs> well, if that's true, then who needs a stinking time machine? Just. Keeps you up at night. <laughs> Spiders coming through our walls. <laughs> yeah. I mean, what, what gives you motivation each morning? What do you hope to achieve one day? Well, it's definitely not my job. <laughs> A loving family with you. Well, I mean, it's not, it's not inventing time travel, but it's why I want to get the renovations done so early before life gets crazy. I think that's a great dream. I also want to go to the Swiss Alps. I think that'd be incredible. Oh, I'd love to. Uh, and, and Italy. Yes. Venice. Yes. Right? We right. have to go to Venice. Uh, no, that's okay. You open it. All right. All right. Do you want me to hold that? No, it's okay. Love never stop ticking. T. 
Do you like it? It's wonderful. Thank you, Jess. What's on your mind? Just you. About Charlie and Russ? You seen my phone? Yeah, it's, um, it's in the drawer by our bed, on my side. Don't move. Are you? <laughs> Don't move. I might move. Shelly, it's Nick. Uh, I don't I don't know if you'll get this. But I don't think you should stay with Corey. You deserve so much better than him. And I miss our college days, and I miss you. And I am so sorry I couldn't be there for you. Please, please don't give that jerk another minute. You're a catch, and tomorrow will bring new opportunities. I know it. I hope you get this. I love you, sis. What's your emergency? Hi. I'm calling to report a drunk driver. Ow! Oh my god! <laughs> oh my god! Is it bleeding? Uh, uh, oh. I told you not to move! <gasps> I was just cleaning it up! <laughs> <laughs> I should have known. I don't even want to look at it. Oh, okay, just... <laughs> What's that? Uh, what is that? <laughs> Were you going to drink more wine? What are you doing? What are you doing? Jess, I've spent half my life trying to chase a dream only to realize that it was right under my nose. <laughs> Ow. Not many things in life are perfect, but you're the exception. You've shown me the true value in time is, is spending it with those you love. And I vow to spend as much as I possibly can with you. I'm starting everything over tonight and, and, and staying here by your side. I love you, Jessica, with all my heart. <laughs> Wait here, okay? Wait, up. Um... 
Wake up! Melissa, help me! Status. Charging complete. What's happening? Stage two. Transferring energy. Connection status. Connection. 100%. Full? You did it, Nick. We can return. Make history! Round trip destination set for no way. 66,702.1 hours. Energy transfer complete. Stage three. Ready to launch. Stand by for clapping. But how? Who cares? Let's go! No, I, I, I called the cops. I have made changes. You did what? I've done things to change the past. Well, they must not have changed yet. Let's go! Is it safe? can go, I'm staying. Wait, wait, no, 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 no. We have to transfer back an equal mass. Then take him. Nick, please answer me. Connection, 75%. I, one, one Don't let her screw no. this up. Hey, let go, I'm staying. You've gone mad. This is just an observation. Let go. Recorded data on a server. The machine is yours, you can take all the credit! Nick, Nick, listen Connection. to me, listen to me! 60%. Trying to stay here will not fix your past. Now let's go! No, 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 no! Go, go, go! go. Jess! Oh my god, they're back! I knew it! No, no. You've been gone for hours, how are we? Oh. So, did, did it work? I am not going to put myself through that kind of stress ever again. Hey. Tommy. <laughs> You're damn right it works! <laughs> this place, this place was a, a construction zone. Is that whiskey? And we ran into, uh, uh, you're gonna love this. <laughs> Is uh, anybody else seeing double? <laughs> Nick met yeah. himself? I met him, more like bushwhacked him. <laughs> Uh, Warning, uh, missing data. And the Red Fox, get this, was his intern, his own intern. What? Working right here. No, but it all makes perfect sense now. How else could she have all that knowledge? Warning, missing data. Nick? The Red Hoosie? Anne-Marie Vixen? Russia? War. What's happening, Nick? <laughs> oh, don't worry about security clearance. He already knows. Status. War. Out. Huh? Out. What? Go. Run. Everyone. <laughs> Status. 99.93% data restored. 0.07% new data. Timeline amended. I've never... Previous memory updated. Reset complete. New maximum destination set for September 15th, 2019 at 11.14 p.m. It changed? Uh, um, uh, Shelly, um, I, I, I'm sorry, I, I can be there. Are you at Mom and Dad's? We just left. We? No, 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 no. Uh, is everything okay? You tell me, Einstein. Guess what? What, you think I joke? Shit, come on. Uh, hello? 
frozen. I told you this connection stinks. Well, whack it or something. No, no, I'm, I'm, I'm here. <laughs> there we there go. You go. I have to see you guys uh, tonight. Or come on, don't get all weepy now. <laughs> Hey, so we've got like a hundred more of these calls to make, so we're gonna, you know. Yeah, yeah, of, of course. Congrats, you guys. And sis, I'm proud of you. Thanks, Nick. Timeline changed. Son of a Newton! Nick! Do you know what this means? What else? <laughs> hey, where'd your stupid ugly tie go? What? Save lives, even plan for rewind. With proper testing, who knows how much we can fix? Not everything. Melissa, if we start tracking her now, yeah, yeah, we just might be able to stop the Red Fox after all. How much did you have to drink? Nick, we need to update HQ. We'll be back in a moment. What is this Red Fox? You know, Nick, I just gotta say, Love the cabinets and the quartz countertop. Thanks. Nick, with your successful demonstration, I would like to personally welcome you to the United States Department of Energy. Elon Musk may have revolutionized electric vehicles, open AI, and space exploration, but it looks like we will be leading the way in time travel. Yeah! <laughs> Elon Musk. Finally got one over on him. You'll be flying out tonight. I have property set up so you can get started. Believe me, there is no time to waste. You were still interested. I made a deal with Dr. Kent. He gets credit for everything. Oh, don't be silly. You were talking like a fool, not a physicist. You'll touch millions of lives. This is your dream, our dream.
Doctor, it has been one hell of a ride. But this is your achievement. I'm taking option A. Are you sure? Earlier you said- Does the offer still stand? Annual payments. Then we've got a deal. Well, the clock's ticking and the Russians are rushing. All right, Mr. Family Man. If I don't come back alive, be sure to lock up on your way out. We're gonna need all of this in writing and help deconstructing the machine and his notes and help rebuilding it right, once we get- Right, right, right. Let's give him the night off. He's earned it. You hungry? There's literally no food in this house. <laughs> Jess! Rachel! Hello? Ben. Jesus, Boba Fett. Dude, sorry, man, but I, I, I gotta talk to Jess. And Rachel, too. Well, they're not here. What? Oh, no. Oh, no, no. Oh, how could this... I mean, you, you, you're married, right? And... What are you doing? How could this... The divorce papers. The, the, the divorce papers, they, they were at my house today and, and, and Jess has been staying here. I, I know it, Ben. And they ran out of ice cream. Huh? That's them now. Oh, God. Well, look, man, I, I, I don't really know what to tell you. What do you mean? I know how much your work means to you. We all do, and... I don't know. You sure this is what you want? More than anything. Just don't waste her time, man. Big surprise. Sorry, Nick, but the world doesn't start and stop at your convenience. Rachel, listen to me. Get your chairs off my lawn and go home. I want to invest in your art studio. <laughs> what? Nick, I gave it up years ago. Not that you would ever notice. Yes. And I'm sorry you turned down investors because of me. Really. <laughs> Who told you that? Here. I have the money, and I know how much it means to you. Don't kid yourself. I'm serious, Rach. I promise you'll have your nights back. All I want is to start a family with Jess. No more distractions. Just don't cash it till next week. So now you're trying to bribe me just to talk to her. It's not too late for your studio. Please. Oh, but did you bathe in cologne? <laughs> <sighs> Don't mess this up. Hey! Keep it! Got a lot to learn about personal finance. What's going on? Just bringing this over. What the hell is wrong with you? It's 
it's all over. I'm done with time travel. <laughs> done? Right. That's right. Yeah. So you're quitting right before your big trip? How does that work? Jess, I just came back from the night I proposed. Don't even try it. I'm serious. Everyone was there. I got on one knee, you, you had your bloody nose, and, and we, we sat under the stars and... What bloody nose? Oh, right, because... <laughs> it's okay, you, you, don't, you don't have to believe me, I'm... I'm... Seven years, Nick. Seven years. All of our marriage wasted. And now you want to talk about work? You made a vow that you would stand by my side. And I fell for it. You think I couldn't tell the moments when you stopped listening? It felt like we were strangers living together. I'm so sorry. How do you think that made me feel? Like it was some kind of chore making time for me. Why? Why didn't you stop me? Oh, right. Just shut the whole time travel thing down? You saw things I couldn't. Because? Because why? It wasn't right to squash your dreams just so I could have mine. I wanted us to have both. Time travel and a loving family. Call me crazy. We'd be that couple. As long as we had each other. But I had no idea how consuming your work would be and how far we'd grow apart. Look, our, our relationship, the way it was, wasn't working. And I don't know if it ever will. <laughs> Maybe it's stupid. It's stupid to think that things wouldn't have changed. And things would stay easy. And maybe Nick, we just weren't meant to be together. This is melting. No, just stop. I forgot the reasons we fell in love. How young and, and, and silly and happy we were. Rushing out of work to go out. Butterflies from our first kiss. How oh, every day was made better once I saw your smile. We'd have so much fun doing anything <laughs> or nothing. It didn't matter. I've been selfish. We had something special together, and I took it for granted. I'm sorry. I'm committed to us and our family. That's my dream now. Do you expect me to believe you've changed in a couple hours? Jessica Marie? I have never been more in love with you than I am right now. Whether I proposed an hour ago or, or seven years ago, I want to make this vow to you again. Day by day, whatever challenges we face, I promise our bond will only grow stronger. I 
I don't need to change the world or get some sort of scientific self-validation. I just need us again. I can't believe I've fallen so far. Will you take my hand? See Daisy, cutie pooty. I'm sorry. I'm sorry too. And I love you. I love you too. Wait, let me grab something. That's the Nick I know. Just kidding. <laughs> Could I interest you in some hot chocolate? Oh. Oh. Nick! Ah. Oh, babe. Nothing ever works out. Come here. Huh? Come on, we'll leave it here till the morning. <laughs> don't worry, I don't I don't even really like those anyway. Also, don't hate me, but um I kinda threw my ring out the window earlier. <laughs> <laughs> no. Wait, did you? No. Uh <laughs> funny story, um, Wait a minute. A glitch? You really went. Jess, how would you like to see the Swiss Alps? But, but what about... And Venice and Italy. And then... And then... The real adventure. <laughs> Come on. We'll need to conduct a lot of experiments. <gasps> I think you've done plenty of testing. Hey, so that was just the control group. <laughs> The philosopher Albert Schweitzer once said, in the hopes of reaching the moon, men fail to see the flowers that blossom at their feet. And you know what? I think he might have been onto something. Would you stop to smell the roses? It's almost noon. Hmm. I think Mom is challenging us to a tickle fight. Yeah. No, we don't have time for that. Get out! <laughs> Get her, get her, get her, get her. <laughs> Hello? Shoes off, kids. Grayson, we're here. Hey, guys. Hey, Grayson. Hello. Hi, guys. We're here. Oh, God. <laughs> I already found him. <laughs> That's the play. Hey, get a rope. Can I just say I appreciate you cleaning the basement for the kids today? Yeah, when we take off those shoes over here. Uh, confirm energy required to rewind 24 Oh. Oh, and I clean the upstairs by myself! <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>